Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, good morning. This is 10 Minute Talk with Terrence. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, I will be uh, doing a show from uh, my car because I'm in uh, physical therapy. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody for timing in on the day. I uh, appreciate you guys coming in. I appreciate all the texts and the emails and the, um, you know the messages that are coming through. And uh, one of the things I want to kind of touch out today, uh, because I've had numerous calls and texts and talked about and conversations about it, it's called pressure during this time. And and I've, I've found myself, uh, I found myself dealing with pressure different because I'm a person that. I try to look at things on the bright side of life, not so much the negative side. And uh, I have to stay positive because of the field that I'm in right now, that it requires me to stay positive, even in a situation of time. So I titled this particular segment is Pressure, Praise Instead of Pressure. I turn my pressure into praise because that is the way, that's how I fight my battles. And I'm, I'm going to give you some remnant how to fight your battles. First, let's go into prayer. Father, we thank you. We praise you right now. We ask you to just watch over us and gather to strengthen us. Touch my brothers and my sisters out there, my co-workers and everything past and present. Father, we ask right now that you continue to be with us and guide us and strengthen us right now. Father, those times right now where a lot of things, we got a lot of pressure coming from this side, the east, west, north, and south. We ask God that you ask right now that you do your do, do your duty, God, and help us to accomplish the task and assignment that you have us on and we ask right now to be with us and gather we continue to be the light in other people's darkness touch our family and our kids and our siblings and our loved ones right now with jesus in my name we pray amen amen again this segment is basically on pressure praise instead of pressure because there's pressure, there's, it's a pressure, it's like a force of nature coming at you because you got your kids, you got your mom, your dad, your family, your brothers and your sisters, loved ones that are dealing with a lot of pressure. And because they're handling it differently, it's, it's not a situation where you can't put yourself in a position to assist one another. One of the things that I've challenged myself is to always be there for others, but yet also take time out for myself. You know, and the way that I handle my pressure is with a praise. I start, I pray. I pray constantly every morning. I pray for my wife and my family and my kids. Um, and because I know I'm on assignment. When you're on assignment, you have a job. You have a deadline that you have to do. And you make a you make a constant decision and a choice to, to accomplish that task. See, see, here's the thing. You were made for a mission. At the end of the day, you were made for a mission. You was not put on this earth to slack, to go do this and not do everything. You were made for assignment. And while you're on assignment, you have to learn how to handle pressure. Pressure is life. Pressure is, is normal. It's going to happen. But the question is, how do you deal with that pressure? How do you deal with those problems? How do you deal with those people that brings the pressure? But the first thing you got to do, you must, first of all, I believe starting off every day with prayer. You know, and I, I tell, I, when I tell most kids and say, you can say three words, say, Lord, help me. Basically, that's it sometimes. But see, we want to go all into it. But sometimes if you need that, go for it. But what I'm saying is that the way you deal with pressure, start off with prayer because pressure is going to come. People are going to come. Different situations. Every day is going to be a different situation. If somebody comes to the same issue, then that's another situation. But the way you deal with it, because you have to protect yourself, you have to cover your heart and cover your mind and your spirit. You know, God is at work and he is at work in the world, okay? And I was reading the subject and it said, and it hit me and said, God is at work in the world and he wants you to join him. So basically, he's working. That means we got to do our work. We got to do our job too. We got to pray. We got to praise. And that's the way I handle my pressure. We're praised. You know, when the harder the pressure, guess what? The harder my praise is going to be. If you know anything about me, I don't care where I am or whatever, I'm going to give God praise. Because, you know what? Because he had bought me out of too much stuff, too much situation, and too much stuff where people had bought to me. And I allowed it to, I last, I allowed that to, to hold on to me. But I've learned to stop carrying situations and start casting situations. I've learned that. And, and you know, you if you listen to people long enough, they will help you deal with certain situations. Well, we have to understand that the way to handle the pressure of the world is with a praise. Say, God, I praise you. I thank you. There's a situation that's coming up, and I need you I need you in it so we can deal with it. And at the end of the day, that's what happens. And the assignment, let me tell you, most assignments, it, it starts with a mission. 
When you have assignment, that means you had a mission. I was given an assignment at work to do some paperwork. So guess what? That's my mission. I'm focused. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to handle a situation. My kids have a situation. That's a mission. I'm going to talk to them. I am hope they're listening so we can get through it and go to the next day. Every day is going to be another situation. So you might as well get ready for it. Deal with it because we're in this pressure point. We're in a pressure time right now. Where it's pressure coming from east, south, east, north, and west. But we got to be prepared. We got to prepare. We got to be prepared to deal with the pressure. And the way to deal with pressure is with praise and prayer. You got to have prayer. You got to have prayer in your life. And you got to keep positive minded people around you. Because people are going to bring problems. But when they bring you problems, you give them praise. You say, hey, you know what? Let's stop right now. Let's start praying. And if they're not praying, then guess what? That's your end. That's your end. That conversation. Because at some point, you got to take control of your life. You can't allow people to bring pressure on you when you're in a praise moment. When you're praising and somebody bringing pressure, that's unbalanced. And we got to give up. We got to get back to balance. We got to get a balanced life. You know, we can't allow people to bring us stuff if we sit up here trying to stay focused. When you're on a mission, that means you focus. That means you tunnel vision. Your vision, you're, you're, you're on assignment. You're on a mission because I see the vision down the line. I got work to do, and I don't need no one interfering with my progress and my position. You feel me? You got to have progress in your position. And if you don't know your position and your progress, then you need, you need to start. The Bible says, ask God, okay? You pray about say, Lord, I need some help with my position right now because I want to make progress in my health, in my life. And watch this, in my mindset. See, you got to get your mind right. You got to change your mind. And sometimes a change of behind is a change of behavior. A change of behavior starts with repentance. We got to repent. Ask God to renew. You know, and, you know, I, I have a, my, my, I, I, our family scripture is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Period. Drop the mic on that right there. Because you got to look at it like that. If you, 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 you know you can't do it by yourself. Don't even try. You can get, you can attempt, but I guarantee you, you might fail. But it ain't how you fall, baby. It's how you get back up and finish this way. And I'm here to tell you right now, there was power in praise. Because the pressure's going to come, but you beat that pressure with praise. It can be praise just sitting there, just raving your hands and saying, Lord, help me. Lord, give me strength to deal with this situation. Lord, give me strength to deal with that individual. Lord, give me strength with my job, my family. They're trying to take away my peace. And God, you gave it to me. Lord, I don't want no one to take it away. Amen. Because they don't, because see, more people want to pour out of, want to drain out of you than pour into you. No, not going to happen. Not here. Amen. We got to remember, we got to start. This is how I fight my battle. I love that song when the praise team sing that song. This is how I fight my battle. Because you know what? Because with praise, I'm going to tell you right now, you start praising God, people stay away from you. I tell you right now, I told a person one day, I said, hey, bro, that's an easy fix. Start praying for people. When they come around, they're going to stop. Either they're going to praise with you or they're going to walk away from you. That's a win-win situation. You know, and that might not sound, y'all laughing, but I'm very serious, though. That's how, that's how it is, though. That's how you do that. I mean, if they cool, they're going to stay and pray with you. If not, they're going to walk away. Okay, that means they're not coming. They're not there. They're part of the problem, not the solution. You got the solutioner. God's your solutioner. But you got to bring it to them. You got to let them know. Don't let people come in your mix. Now, I, I, you can't tell me doing. You can, you, can, you can say something. But I'm too powerful in my praise. I'm in position right now. So I need, I need positive vibe around me. You feel me? Again, remember, this is Elder Terrence Smith. 10 Minute Talk with Terrence. It's just to encourage you right now. The way you handle your pressures with praise and prayer. I always remember that. And I always remember it ain't how you fall, baby. It's how you get back up. And remember, you're as close to God as you choose to be. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Send the texts, the message, whatever you want to send it. And we'll jump on the top of to, to next week. Amen. And again, this is 10 Man Talk with Terrence. This is how you handle pressure on the, with your praise. Amen. Praise, pressure, it's going to come, but you solve it with praise and prayer. God bless you. I love you. Man, have a beautiful day. Enjoy your life. Amen. Because I'm living my best, blessed life. 
I love you all, my cousins, my family, my lords. Man, I love y'all, man. Remember, we're going to fight this good fight of faith. Hey, Amen. We got this, and we're going to do this thing, all right? Hey, Amen. Remember, you were made for a mission. God bless you. I love you. Peace out.